The Odyssey Memorial here in Riverside Park stands to commemorate the arrival of the people of the Turnbull Settlement in 1768. The Greek-American community celebrates New Smyrna Beach as the first place Greek people settled in the New World. Though it stands proudly today, the Odyssey Memorial's journey into existence was an odyssey in itself. In the early 1960s, the American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association, or AHEPA, began discussing plans to memorialize what they considered the Plymouth Rock for Greek Americans. They spoke of suitable celebrations and possibly a monument located in New Smyrna Beach. In 1968, at the bicentennial celebration for the settlers, the first formal marker to commemorate the Greeks who came with the settlement was dedicated at the entrance to Old Fort Park, just across from City Hall. Over 800 people attended, and Washington, D.C. took notice via a resolution sponsored in the U.S. House of Representatives. Approximately 25 years later, members of the local chapter of AHEPA first approached the city of New Smyrna Beach with plans for a new monument. They presented an artist's drawing and spoke of the organization's plan to raise the estimated $100,000 to build it. Their plan proposed to place the monument in Old Fort Park at the former site of the city's water tower. In early 1995, the City Commission issued a proclamation supporting the concept of the memorial and fundraising efforts of the AHEPA. But as fundraising commenced, local opposition grew to the monument being placed in Old Fort Park. By the time the monument's approval came up for a vote in 1999, the opposing voices had risen to a crescendo. The plan was now opposed by the city's own Historic Preservation Commission and its Parks and Recreation Department. Local historical organizations joined in the protests that had now become front-page news. The size and composition of the monument, as well as the destructive nature of its construction in an archaeologically sensitive area, were the main objections. The pandemonium was diffused when the organizing committee for the monument agreed to consider eight alternative sites along with this site in Riverside Park. The City Commission approved the memorial's placement here with the support of the AHEPA and local historical organizations. Created with hydraulic fill pumped from the riverbed, Riverside Park is not considered a historically sensitive site. However, the political turmoil over the building of the monument didn't end there. In the coming months, the designers had to scale back its overall projected size. They were also required to work with the city commission to renegotiate landscaping and drainage requirements imposed by city officials. On Sunday, April 9, 2000, ground was broken for the construction of the Odyssey Memorial. The finalized monument is 12 feet by 12 feet, standing 24 feet high, and includes the inscribed names of the settlers. Father Nick Manosakis presided over the groundbreaking ceremony. Manosakis described the monument to those people who came to the settlement as, quote, an unshakable rock. If the river flows over and the winds blow it, it will neither fall nor be distressed. May this stand forever, unquote.